All right, so the FF7 Reaper trailer finally came out. There's some gameplay shown. Um, this was like the finale event in the Summer Game Fest. I had a feeling that, you know, obviously this game was bound to like be showcased as a trailer to us uh, around this time. And good thing I heard that I don't I don't know. Like I just saw some screenshots. Like maybe they they show a lot. We'll see. Um, I'm going to share my thoughts, and maybe my thoughts may be spoilers, so just be aware of that. Uh, as I react to this, this video, this is my first time checking this out. I'm very excited. I love the remake back in 2020. I love that to death. I played it so many times as well, spent many hours on it. So, And I also love the Yuffie DLC. The combat was simply amazing in that game, and I love the tag team stuff. So I kind of expect to see that gameplay here um, with all the party members. So let's just hop in. And watch it. Hopefully, like it's not too loud. We are still Ooh. here at the scene of this terrible sector two. disaster caused by a massive tornado News. That swept through sectors zero, one, and two. Oh! Amidst the wreckage of oh. the explosion, search and rescue operations are already in progress. Even right here, they're all dead. The goddess is dead, bro. No, that that's probably obviously we know what happened to the actual cast. That's actually crazy to see though. We actually know what happened to the cast. This is probably, from what I see, this is from the um, from the other timeline. The alternative timeline with Zack. The unknown journey continues. Oh yeah, wait. Is this only on 1080? Oh, only on 1080. No 4K. The CG looks even better. Done to it. It's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality. It's a bit it's loud. Really I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower it a bit. Oh, yep. There's open world they were talking about. What's Cloud been doing these past? Or it's like zones. Where's he been? And you're asking me this? This is yeah, Earth. I thought you know everything. Oh, the chocobo form. As far as I know. Yo, and they're riding chocobos. Five years ago. Oh, she, she's talking about Cloud's past. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. According to Hojo. Oh, is this the caves? Sephiroth. Shadows of the man. What was it? The I Mithril was Cave or whatever? I forgot. I didn't play much in the middle in the original. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I know y'all probably cringe at me. I know the story of FF7. I watched the movie back then as well. Like I've been following Lightweight on FF7 for quite some time since I was a kid, and I think years back I did play the original, but I stopped at the middle because, like, I just couldn't get through it. But I understand why everyone likes it. Um, so I do know some certain parts in the um, middle of the game, like, especially here, this is where they all talk about their past and stuff, or, like, just recuperate and talk about certain things. Like, we're going to have that whole Nibelheim uh, talk, you know, um... Uh, or story, and we're gonna have Cloud's perspective. I mean, we saw obviously the real perspective in um, Crisis Core, so that's why it was an important game to play. Uh, I wish they honestly remade that, but let's not let's not rant about like all, all this FF7 stuff. Let's just play the video. But yeah, I'm sorry if y'all cringe if uh, I haven't finished the OG FF7, but I pretty much know the story. I just don't know like certain details, so let me know. Comment down below. All right. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Well now, I think we woke it up. Red and Barrett are we gonna see some gameplay? It's the Stone Talus from, from Tears of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild, I'm just playing. Dude. Oh. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. She may be new, but she's still. Is she an OG character? Is she the one of the characters from like I never played? What was it, Ever Crisis, or before Crisis? I mean. Oh my God, dude! The choreography of this game. By the way, I have it on two screens, so if it doesn't if it doesn't seem like I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it. We're gonna watch it again, also. Yeah, dude, the tag team stuff. Oh my god. Oh, the Yuffie! Yuffie in the party! 
Yeah, the environment looks so cool. Man, the bit rate though. Ooh. Wish the bit rate was better. They say she's a monster. That she can peer inside you. Into the very depths of your soul. Okay. Sephiroth doing the whole Genova illusion or whatever again. Those you fear. Those you love. Three. Oh, so is Cloud! <laughs> Reunion! Cloud was saying it! The entire time. You murdered my dad! Oh, it's a Tifa scene. You burned my village! Do you know that I killed her? Oh! Who is she? Damn. Good trailer. Good trailer. I'm it's the same vibes we got in like 2018, 2019 when we're seeing these reveal trailers. So early 2024. Oh wow. On two disc as well. Alright. I, I was hoping maybe December, but you know, that's sort of a reach. I understand. Also, we got FF16 literally in two weeks. Like, why am I tripping, right? Um So if it's coming early 2024. Damn, so that means. I don't mind early 2024, you know? They, they could take their time, as long as, like, a great game. Um, but damn. See, as a Kingdom Hearts fan, that means we're probably... Because Square likes to put out their games one by one. Um, like, once, like they're great bangers, like, each year. Once a year, so... Seems like Kingdom Hearts 4 is 2025. I was hoping Kingdom Hearts would come out 2024 if the game is ready, but... They could take their time with Kingdom Hearts 4. I love Kingdom Hearts. I love. I also love 3, you know, despite what everyone says. I, I love 3 to death, so I'm really craving for some Square Enix games. So let's have FF16, FF7 Rebirth, KH4, around this time frame. Love it. Uh, so we're, let's rewatch it. Uh, there is, there's some stuff I want to talk about. I'm going to be pausing. Um, also, again, I may talk about potential spoilers. These are These are just like... Theoretical like thoughts I I have about uh, like about this game. So let's get right into it. We're still here. So in the end of the integrate Yuffie's DLC, I mean, yeah, and Yuffie's DLC, here at the scene of this we have a post-credit scene with Zach. He enters the church and saying he's back, but all of a sudden we just see a lot of civilians. Um, and civilians are like people of the slums uh, in the church, and Aerith is nowhere to be seen. So, I guess maybe in his time frame, like it seems like they kill off everyone here in his time in his timeline. See, look, Aerith is bad. It, it hurts to see them all all dead. That's crazy. You know what's actually nuts too? Nomura was the reason why all these characters actually exist because. The, the team, I think Kitase and, and maybe Sakaguchi, wanted to just kill off the party members. And Nomura was like, yo, hold up. May maybe, like, not everyone, you know? <laughs> like, not everyone. So maybe, you know, this is like a meta story telling they're, they're trying to tell us. is like they're showing another universe of what um, the alternative timeline of what FF7 could potentially could have potentially be unreleased back then in 97. Uh, so if that's actually true and that's the case of what they're showcasing, man, that would have been actually brilliant and, and interesting to hear or see. But from what I see right now, in, ter in terms of the game, we're, we're talking about, like, objectively speaking, uh, it seems like this is just the alternative timeline with Zack, and it seems everyone's dead, maybe Cloud potentially, but it doesn't seem... Maybe Cloud... No! Cloud was... It seems Cloud is still alive because he was alive with Zack in, in the end of uh, the remake. So Cloud is alive. That's what I think. Um, but everyone's dead. Damn, that's just crazy to see Tifa. My girl Tifa, man. David killed the dog Red 13. That's his name, right? Red 13? I think it was Red 13. And the goddess herself! Look! It, it hurts to see! It hurts to see! Aerith! No, man! Oh, bro. They had a... Sh no. 
dude, the trailer with the foreshadowing. They show Sephiroth's black feather after after Aerith is just knocked down, knocked out, or I don't know, or is she actually dead? It seems like they're just I don't know. They seem they seem dead. Maybe they're just knocked out. I I have no idea. Right? They're just unconscious. And then, but yeah, like. Dude. <laughs> oh man, they're really hinting it. They're really hinting it. All right, let's hear them out. Wow. Just look at it all. It's so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. In reality, it's better. See, I don't want to. I don't want to like. I don't want to like you know, <laughs> like overthink stuff. But is this all an illusion, right? Or is it li literally what he's saying? Like, because literally the planet's dying. I don't know. We'll just we'll just keep that in the notes for now. I can't really elaborate on that. Okay, so I want to talk about the. So they did tell us basically they did hint it like it would be like an open world or if anything like there'll be more stuff to explore um and and this is what i sort of expected of of how the open world would look like it would just be like open zones to look into and stuff and uh, you know when playing when you've been playing a lot of tears of the kingdom this is i'm sorry this is literally this is literally nothing <laughs> sorry to say it's it's literally nothing like again it's nice to see I'm not really impressed with how the open world is, to be honest with you. But, again, it does look gorgeous. And they didn't really showcase that much of how the open world is going to be. You could still be immersed in these sort of open linear or, like, open zone areas uh, in any sort of game. I mean, the Yaxa franchise does it a lot. Um, so, as long as maybe, like, there's stuff to interact or maybe, like, you're always backtracking to these areas. Or, I don't know. But, um... They could make this feel like give that illusion of the open world genre, but we'll honestly see. I, I can't. I don't want to say much on it because like they, there's barely any footage of the of how the open world stuff goes or how its mechanics will will be. I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And your see, look, it again. It's nice to see this, but you could tell it's like it's linear and all that, but. Very beautiful with the details. I wish the um, the trailer was on higher bit rate and and give much better frame rate. Would love to see the game on sixty. Asking me this? So I forgot what I was about to say. Uh, yeah, I I wish to see the game um, in a much better video format. Uh, but yeah, let's let's just continue on and and we'll kind of just talk about it. This is gonna sound crazy. This is the Chocobo farm. It's funny, is this a different Chocobo farm? I don't remember it really being in the wilderness out here like this. Or maybe it's like later on in the game. Because I remember when you get into the Chocobo farm, that's literally like right after you get out of Mid Midgar. But yeah, interesting how, how again, how all this is just going to like work. Because like, I feel like we saw, we barely saw anything of the game. And I hope it remains like that. Square Enix is known to always show a lot. So, I... <laughs> You know, I do want, as much as I want to cover, like, all these Final Fantasy games, like, you know, with their promotion and their trailers, it's hard to watch them, because I, I want to, like, experience them firsthand without knowing anything. As far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Yep, and there's Tifa, she's talking about Cloud's past, and how Cloud is just saying all this mumbo-jumbo stuff, creating his own story. Essence of ours. I wonder if he's gonna like talk about the multiverses, you know, the alternate timelines. We'll see. According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. I wonder who's that talking. Shadows of the man. I believe you call them. It's not like Rufus. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened. He's alive. But why come back now? 
after five years, doing who knows what. Yeah, I wonder what like what's really this well, about. Now, I think we woke it up. Angered it more like. Here's the gameplay. I'm not gonna like, you know, really break down the gameplay because it's just see seemingly it's like the same as the uh, remake except like they added more tag team stuff. Um, this seems interesting though. Vengeance mode. I think that's just like their Punisher mode for. Like, you know, with Cloud with Punisher mode in the remake, this is this is its Punisher mode for Red 13. Um, and then, yeah, they did change up the UI, kind of match it with the uh, the PS5 UI. But uh, it seems like, it, this seems like it's not the final, like, um, quote unquote, not the final product. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, yeah, be co I may be covering up the UI. My bad, guys. So her, like, I don't know this character, and honestly, I'm really curious what happened to Cisne. Because, like, again, I, I kind of talked about this in my critique with the, um, the the cast of characters in Crisis Core, how they're just never, ever talked about ever again. So I hope to see him again in the remake, but, again, now we have this whole other character I'm not familiar with. This is probably... So they said this is Elena, um, but I assume this is the girl from... Um, from uh before crisis so that's what i'm that's what i'm wondering uh i i again i have just i don't really know her so i was hoping to see Cisne and and finding out what happened with her because again like a lot of the characters there they like, just kind of went off and did their own thing or something so it would be nice to see him again but let's say that this character what i just said is is from the uh older like titles or iterations of like the compilation nice to see her in the in the remake you know turk's latest and greatest elena she may be new but she's still a turk i want to see this the choreography looks amazing man rude and elena dude that's all in game two like that's the crazy thing that's like that gets me so hyped, man. Like that's what I love. That's what I love about Square Enix action games, like with Kingdom Hearts Two and um, and at, with FF Seven R, their choreography of how they showcase their action. My goodness, it looks always looks so good. So nice to see that. See more of this, you know. See, look, this looks so nice. Again, the bitrate's not doing it justice, but it looks so nice. Oh damn! Doing full on, full on juggles out here. Look at that! Look at look at Red Thirteen. Yeah. See, I like the the tag team with Aerith and Tifa. Also, wow. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of tag team stuff. That's gonna look crazy with the combos you could do. I'm pretty sure they're adding on to what Sonin and and Yuffie uh, could have done. And I love the combat there in the DLC more than its base game already um, with the FF7 remake. Because, like, the free the freedom of how you could just approach stuff is just insanely good. And that was actually one of the main criticisms I had with base game is that you're kind of forced to play one way or an another similar way. There, there's not enough freedom to approach certain combat. I mean, certain enemies in combat. So... Seeing this, I have high hopes because with so uh, Sonin and Yuffie, I felt more freedom to have. Um, and I get it, you know, like the reason why there isn't much freedom in combat because it is a it is a mixed of uh, it's a it's a genre defining redefining genre of uh, turn based mixed with uh, action RPG. So like it's it's sort of hard to kind of kind of kind of have like the best of both worlds, but for some reason, Square Enix actually found like their their sweet spot on under combat, and I'm looking forward to it. Like the amount of, I, I wonder how creative you could do with the tag team, the, the tag team combos. Look at the Yuffie and Red Thirteen. Oh my God, that's actually like Barrett and, and Cloud. Look at this. I'm hyped. They say she's a monster. That she can peer inside you into the very
very depths of your soul. Mm. I think he's talking. He's talking about Genova. That she can become. He's just like he's just doing what Sephiroth usually does. He's just fucking with Cloud a lot. Those you hate, those you fear, those you love. I want to hear this last quote he says. I didn't really hear it you earlier. Know that I killed her. So, who is she? You know that I killed her, so who is she? Oh! <laughs> oh okay, this is sort of spoiler territory, so... Um, I think I know what's going on. I think I know what's going on here. We know that... I don't, man, even though I'm saying it's spoilers and I'm about to say it, I'm not going to say it, but for sure, I I don't think Tifa is going to die. This is their way to throw off the new players who are not, who have not played the OG or have heard about the OG. Um, and I guess they're, I guess what the game is going to do is going to show a build up somehow of making you think Tifa is gonna die. And this is this is this is the classic Sephiroth we know. Like he he has this tactic on just messing with Cloud 24-7. So the fact that he's he's saying this. Um here, let me do one play. That I killed her. You know that I killed Tifa. Who is she? So who is she? This is this is their way to throw off everyone, right? It could honestly, like I could be wrong. There's so many twists and turns in the base game, so maybe they could just twist it up too in in, in rebirth. But how I see it is that they're gonna have this build up, they're gonna make you really think Tifa Tifa is gonna die, right? Um but in reality if you know you know. Uh <laughs> um, and yeah, like cause in also in the OG, like or not even like just in other iterations of like of like uh even like in Advent Children, Sephiroth was basically dead, right? But he was still alive so like <laughs> still trying to muck Cloud and get in his head. That's what he's always been known for and been doing for like these past twenty years. So um <laughs> uh, I mean like it's it's interesting too because in the teaser trailer of Rebirth, Cloud actually says this to uh or Tifa says this to Cloud. Here we go. Hear this. Hear this. This is important. That I died. What are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Oh my god. And then they show that shot. Oh my god. So, there you have it. Two trailers are already connecting with one. We could sort of find out what's going on. Um, the fact that Tifa says, like, yo, what? Yo, this. This ain't a no Among Us lobby, Cloud. What is happening? Are you gaslighting me? Because Cloud is probably seeing her as someone else, like, because of what Sephiroth's saying. So that's why she's saying, I'm not sort of clone or whatever. Like, what are you talking about? Even um, throughout the uh, trailer, Tifa is just concerned with Cloud's, like, mental health. Like, what is going on in his head? Because of what Cloud's just assuming or just jumping to these certain conclusions, you know? Uh, so, like... Literally, the theme right here. What is fact and what is fiction? And us, the player. Us, the player, is trying to figure out what's happening. Because we're just so confused and lost on what's going on and trying to figure out, like, what's canon what's not. You know? <laughs> like, what's going to happen? Um, this is some meta storytelling we are experiencing right now. A lot of people are not talking about it. But I think this is one of the most, like underrated storytelling you could do in a video game slash like if this was even a movie right you could like it's the fact that it's actually written i'm so intrigued how this is written i don't want to say written well because we don't even know how rebirth is going to be but it just seems like like they know what they're doing with their storytelling and it's just brilliant i don't i don't know what else to say but like it's it's insane where the direction is going because it keeps the play, like everyone intrigued in some sort of way and everyone has their own interpretations and how they um, consume it. 
and that's how art is, you know? Like, I, it's just crazy, man. I'm excited for early 2024. Hopefully, the game actually comes out much sooner. Uh, but <laughs> comment down below what you guys think. I don't want to keep on going on and be like Maximilian, dude, and, be, and like, and like, you, you know, like, just like have this all these crazy theories, but comment down below what you guys think. I still have to react to other videos um, or talk about them. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to showcase it whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Comment down below how you guys feel about Rebirth. I want to like hear your guys' opinions on it. Been a while since I created a reaction video, so I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. Um, so yeah, alright guys, remember to subscribe, comment, like, see y'all in the future. Peace.